welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these delicious seafood shells. So please stay tuned and let me show you how. So to get this started, I like to get all of the prepping done right from the beginning. Washing and thoroughly drying the seafood. Make sure that it is room temperature. Go ahead and season everything with salt and pepper to taste. And uh, yeah, you guys, uh, the next step is to mix up your Cajun seasonings. And I will leave all of the measurements in the description box as always. And you want to be um, very generous with your seasoning and make sure Sure that all of your seafood is very nicely coated and set aside about um, I would say two tablespoons for your sauce now in a large skillet heat up some extra virgin olive oil and in medium to high heat go ahead and lay down your salmon and you don't have to do this in any particular order just make sure that you cook all of your seafood um, very nicely and I set down my scallops they were looking so yummy I'm not gonna lie I definitely ate a few while I was cooking them <laughs> um, so yeah go ahead and just um, flip your salmon after about two to three minutes make sure that it is nicely uh, crispy on the outside uh, the same for the scallops and then I started cooking my shrimpies um, these were pretty big it almost hurt to have to chop them up into little pieces <laughs> but um, they're also more meaty so I think it works perfect for this dish um, and yeah your scallops you know they'll tell you when they're done they'll tell you when they're ready to flip uh, just keep an eye on them and keep removing them as they are ready and um, yeah this is probably the hardest part you guys um, cooking your seafood and I do recommend that you do have a candle because even after you're done cleaning you'll probably still smell that seafood <laughs> so um, I always make sure to have a fresh big candle for when I cook these type of dishes I'm not gonna lie um, I have a very sensitive um, nose and I after I'm done eating, I cannot stand the smell of food. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, but yeah, um, this dish is uh, definitely seafood heavy. One of my favorites. Super yummy and um, definitely worth the, the best that you're going to make. <laughs> so go ahead and finish cooking all of your seafood. Now after you are done cooking it, you're going to dice it into um, bite-sized pieces. Um, so my salmon was ready. Um, it was time to go ahead and remove it and um, if it does break on you it honestly doesn't matter because again you're gonna chop it up so no worries and um, yeah just finish cooking up all of my shrimpies and remove them from the pan um, now I added a little bit of extra virgin olive oil so we can start cooking our onions if this is about half of a yellow onion and I know you can see the crispy bits on the bottom that is the fond from the seafood and that is all flavor and it will lift once we add our cream and while I cook my onions I always like to add a little bit of kosher salt um, that's just something I feel like it helps them come along and it just definitely brings out their flavor so go ahead and cook them until they are translucent once they are pretty much done that is when you add your garlic because your garlic should only be cooked for about one to two minutes then add about two cups of heavy whipping cream or just buy the small container and that's about two cups and um, yeah go ahead and add about one to two uh, tablespoons of your Cajun seasoning super yummy that's gonna be um, definitely adding lots of you know yummy flavor to your sauce and just bring it to a boil once it is boiling then lower your heat um, and once it reduces about one third you can add your spinach I'm using frozen spinach but if you have fresh it's gonna do the exact same thing and also around this time is when I started boiling my pasta shells and just make sure with your pasta shells that you undercook them by about three minutes that's extremely important otherwise they will fall apart on you and you're gonna bake them anyways so you know you can leave them a little bit al dente <laughs> why not <laughs> so yeah go ahead and make sure you incorporate your spinach 
and then you can add some parm because you know we always have to make it rain with the parm and just this one measure with your heart you guys <laughs> and um yeah once you add a good amount of parm go ahead and add in your seafood now if you can see those seafood juices please do not throw that away you guys that is all flavor okay that is gonna take your dish to the next level so make sure you add those in we don't waste anything around here okay <laughs> um so go ahead and give it a good mix and um as you can see the pieces are kind of big and that's because you know it's gonna fall apart as you mix it up so you don't want to cut it up too small then i added about half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese towards the end because i didn't want it to fully melt and make it an even bigger mess <laughs> and then i added a little bit of the sauce um the without the seafood just like the edges and then i um spread that over the bottom of my baking dish once you do that, you are ready to start loading up your pasta shells. And you guys, it is a messy job. Um, learn from me. Take off your jewelry. <laughs> I definitely had to give it a really good wash afterwards. And just know I'm, I'm OCD, so my jewelry is clean. <laughs> but um, yeah, just take it off. because. And if you want to use gloves, even better, you guys. <laughs> But, um, you know, this is just for me, family, and friends, so we are good. Just make sure that you're clean, you know? We always gotta have a clean workstation and clean hands. And, um, yeah, just start loading up your baking dish. You can um, go ahead and arrange them in a beautiful pattern like I did, or you can just throw them in there. Honestly, it's still gonna look beautiful because they're seafood shells, so... Don't worry too much about the aesthetic because this is so tasty, so yummy. It's uh, good. You know, I like the cheese shells, but these, you know, they blow them out of the water. <laughs> Excuse the pun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just go ahead. This is the way that I like to do it. Just um, also keeps them upright. So um, not only is it beautiful, but um, it serves a purpose, okay? <laughs> and um, yeah, this was uh, definitely the messiest part, I would say. But I mean, we're almost done. So at this point, you can see the finish line. You, once you start seeing all of your shells um, coming through, then you know, you know you're know you almost done. And then soon enough, you will be enjoying these delicious seafood shells. And um, yeah, you guys, these are, you know, I pack them pretty heavy. We're not, you know, go big or go home. <laughs> Um, go ahead and make sure that you are packing them with your seafood on top. I just added a small, I would say about another cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. I don't like to drown them in cheese because um, I like to get, you know, the, the crispy edges. It's just a nice bite. And um, I don't want my seafood drowned in cheese. It's just not very pleasant. <laughs> um, it looks gooey, but I mean, it doesn't... I don't know, the texture, mm, this is the way to do it, you guys. Just, you know, add a small amount, and then if you have extra sauce, which I'm pretty sure that you will, um, then you can go ahead and drizzle that on top. I added a little bit of the Cajun seasoning on top just to season that mozzarella cheese and to season the, you know, the outside of the shells, because why not? We season every layer around here, okay? <laughs> and uh, yeah, as you can see, we had some extra sauce. Now you can serve this on the side as you eat your shells, or you can add it on top like me. I was desperate to clean my kitchen so I was like we're adding it now <laughs> and um, yeah just go ahead and add it on top to cover up you know a little bit of the shells not all of it um, and to just make sure you know you're adding you know different layers of flavor go ahead and cover it up heat up your oven to 320 and uh, bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you are ready to enjoy and before you serve don't you dare serve this without adding some fresh parm on top and i know we've added it all throughout but why not you guys just go ahead do what i say 
at the Fresh Farm. And here you go, you guys. I know you're gonna absolutely love it. So we're at the end, and I just want to thank you guys so so much for watching. And please stay tuned for my next video, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and give me a nice comment. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.